Welcome guys to a scratch tutorial with Mr. C on Learn IT with Mr. C. We're going to learn how to use broadcasting today and to create a menu. So I've got a start and an exit button as you can see here. I've just created a simple start button using the new sprite from the library option, chose button 2 and then added some simple text start and exit onto the buttons as you can see here now the stage also needs some backdrops so if we add some simple backdrops so that we can change our backdrop depending on which button is clicked I'm going to add the castle 1 and also castle 2 and finally I'm going to add castle 3 which I'll probably use for my exit because it looks like you're leaving the castle so there's my three backdrops and as I said I'm going to use them depending on which buttons clicked so I'm going to send a message to the stage letting the stage know I would like to switch backdrops however I want my initial backdrop when the green flag is clicked to be castle 1 so I'm going to make sure that castle 1 is selected when the initial game is clicked so the castle background number 1 will appear when the green flag is clicked at the beginning now the start button itself I want to use the broadcasting system so the broadcasting system is an event and you can see here it says broadcast message so the start button is going to broadcast a message to say that it's been clicked so the simplest message we could broadcast that when this sprite is clicked we're going to broadcast a new message and the message can be well start is probably if I spell it correctly start is probably the simplest message that has the most meaning so when the start button is clicked we're going to broadcast the message start right so this button is connected with the click on the start and we also want to hide the button when it's clicked so when we start the game we want to hide the button now when the game's then started we must make sure we can see the button so we're going to add the show looks block to when the flag is clicked so when the game starts we'll be able to see the button when we click on the button the button itself will hide so now if we go to our stage we're going to also listen out by when I receive start so when I receive the start message or broadcast I'm going to change the backdrop backdrop to castle 2 so castle 2 when I click on the start button I'll change my backdrop to castle 2 and also I need something to happen to the exit button because I don't want the exit button to disappear so like with the start button I'm going to make sure it show when the game starts however when I click the start button I'm going to send the message start and when the exit button receives the message start it too should hide so it should be invisible so let's have a look now to see how this fits together so if I go to the start click I've got my initial background here castle 1 click on my start button and as I said the start button hides the exit button hides and we switch to the costume castle 2 so I've successfully sent my start message out right so now we want to do the same with the exit button except we don't want to broadcast start we want to broadcast a new message so when the exit button is clicked we're going to broadcast the message exit Okay, so this will send the message exit out to all of the other sprites and the stage to let them know that exit has been clicked. So again we want to hide 
the exit button when it's been clicked and we want to let the stage know what to do when it receives the message so when the stage receives a message message exit we want to switch to our castle 3 backdrop so we'll switch the castle 3 backdrop when the exit message is sent so you can see there that now we can switch between the three backdrops but also on the start button we need to do the same thing when when we receive the exit um, broadcast we want to hide the start button because we don't want to see the start button when we've clicked on the exit button so we hide it so now we should see that the exit button will also hide the start button hide itself and switch backgrounds but let's not leave the poor cat out of it so let's do something with the cat when the two broadcasting messages are made so when the cat receives the start message it's going to say or give a message out on the screen um, what shall we write let's um, welcome to welcome to my game okay exclamation mark Right, so when the start button is clicked, the cat is now going to say the message welcome. And when the exit button is clicked, well, the cat can say something else. Uh, sorry, you are leaving. Right, there we go. So let's test this out. Make sure nothing's running. Click on the green flag. Click on start. And our background changes. Welcome to my game. Fantastic. Stop it and try again. Let's try the exit button. Yep, sorry you're leaving. Now, it's quite basic, but it does show you how to use broadcasting and send messages via the buttons. Now, let's see if you can do it.